Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be reacting to one of my favorite videos on the channel, SureGao. And I'm going to be answering two questions for you guys. What are the top three places that you should visit in SureGao from my experience? And what are the three places that I missed that I would want to visit when I go back in SureGao? So that when you're finished watching this video, you have six places that are going to be amazing for you, your friends, your family when you visit SureGao. So let's get this video started and enjoy. <laughs> so I went on this trip last July and I think one of the main things that make one of the main signs that a trip was worthwhile or special to you is that you want to go back to the place after you've left. And that's definitely what happened in this video after this trip was that we kept on thinking about talking about Shergal and all of the amazing things that we did here. And I'm just thankful that I'm, I, I'm able to film these things and share them with my friends and family and enjoy them again after all this time because these are special moments, you know? These are special moments and the first place that we visit is Cloud9. Cloud9 is a place where you can surf and it's famous around the world for its surfing culture and its surfing environment. <laughs> And the cool thing is, is that you can go and hire some pros to help you. And that's definitely what we all needed was to hire some pros because none of us had any experience. <laughs> none of us had any surfing experience when we went here and surfed at Cloud9 in Shurgao. But as you can see, the teachers were really, really knowledgeable. They had really good tips. They knew how to teach people. They've obviously Hot, maybe thousands of people that have come through Shergal. And here are their names on the screen now. I'm so happy that all of us were able to stand up on the surfboards and experience surfing in Cloud9 here in Shergal. So the first place and the first the first place that I think you should visit in Shergal is definitely Cloud9. There are restaurants along the beach and you're going to have a great time with your friends and family here. <laughs> So the next activity that we do here, and I remember I was like, what, what, what else could there possibly be <laughs> there? What else could there possibly be here in Shergao that we can do? And we're just getting this trip started. So what we do is we go island hopping and I want to shout out to our tour guide, Ivan. I'll link his Facebook down in the description so that if you visit Jurgao, you can reach out to him and schedule a tour with him because he was absolutely awesome. He actually lives on one of these islands and I'll show you guys that later. But the first island that we visit is Guyam Island and on this island, there is a burger spot. So there's a burger spot that you can go to and enjoy amazing burgers while you have Time to enjoy the nature, the island, the beach here at Guyam Island. And then after this, we got kind of a special treatment here. Ivan allowed us to go to an abandoned fish sanctuary in between the first and second island that you visit here in Shergao, which was pretty special. So here I start to explore the abandoned fish sanctuary and you might ask why is it abandoned and it's because there was a typhoon here a few years ago and it kind of wiped out this fish sanctuary and Ivan didn't know what would what would it look like and while I was uh free diving down here yeah it was it was not in the best shape and it still needs time to recover so I'm thankful that Ivan even suggested that because I love swimming underwater you know, I'm missing swimming right now. I would love to go back here and dive. And there's another place in Shergao called the Blue Cathedral, which is a scuba diving spot. So that's somewhere I would be interested to visit next time I go to Shergao. Here is Daku Island. And this is where Ivan lives. So it was so cool because Ivan allowed me to film them cooking our lunch and just knowing that he lives on this island, it was 
even more special because he was an amazing host and he introduced me to Ganga or Spider Conch. And if you've never had this, I definitely have never had this. I didn't even know this was a thing, <laughs> but Spider Conch is very sweet. Like the, the texture is just like squid, but it's a bit sweeter than squid in my opinion. And you dip it in soy sauce. And as you can see here, you have the rice spelling out Shergao. The presentation is amazing. The host was amazing. And the environment here at Daku Island was just awesome. So uh, I definitely ate my fill here <laughs> at Daku Island. And I think you and your friends and family will absolutely love going island hopping when you go to Shergao. So I would recommend island hopping one, and then I would recommend going to Cloud Nine when you go to Shergao. And the third island that you visit when you go to Shergao is called Naked Island. And it's called Naked Island because there are no trees and it's just sand and it's just a great, great place to fly your drone, uh, swim, <laughs> tan, and just have a good time. Just relax, you know? And for me, flying my drone is relaxing. So getting these shots of Naked Island while everyone was swimming was really special. And what else was really special was finding some friends along the way in Shergao. The dogs are really friendly if you're friendly to them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I got the sunset of Shergao at the beach flying my drone. And here is the coconut trees view deck. So honestly, from my perspective and in my opinion, I think that if you're going to visit Shergao. I mean, this this view deck was cool, but if you're crunched on time, it doesn't take much to like look on this, you know, visit this view deck, go to the view deck. I wouldn't recommend going that going to that view deck as a first, you know, a first attraction. It was cool, but I think it looked better from the air from my drone. And if you don't have a drone, uh, I think that your time can be spent better somewhere else. <laughs> But here, this was a cool experience. So this is Tayangban Cave. And in Tayangban Cave, during this, during climbing down <laughs> into the cave, I didn't know what to expect. This was not my first time in a cave, but I didn't know what to expect going in here. And so, yeah, <laughs> it was kind of tight in some places, but that's what made it fun. And what we did find in the cave were some bats, which was really awesome. I love seeing wildlife when I go to different places. I love seeing anything, you know, new fish, jellyfish, bats, spiders, you know, don't touch me if you're a spider, but like really fun. It's really fun to see nature, animals. And at the end of Tayangban Cave, you will find a blue water grotto which was pretty awesome. They had this rope. I didn't know what to do with this rope, so I just tried to climb it, but everyone ended up going to the platform here behind me, and we ended up jumping. All of us ended up jumping off of this platform, and it was so fun. Like It was so fun to see everyone. A lot of people were, not a lot of people, maybe half of us were like a little scared of jumping off the platform, but <laughs> I thought it was really fun. I thought everyone, at the end of it, when everyone had jumped off, like everyone was laughing and wet and having a good time. And I think that's really what a good place like Shergao will do for you is you'll have a great time, you'll make memories, and you will never forget it. <laughs> you'll never forget your time here, I guarantee it. So after Cloud9, after island hopping, where should you go in Shergao? What is the third top place that you should go in Shergao? And I think, in my opinion, your number one place. And if you had no time for anything else, I would just go to Sugba Lagoon. <laughs> and in my opinion, Sugba Lagoon is one of the most, so far, one of the most beautiful places I've been to in the Philippines. Uh, let me enlarge that. As you can see, 
If you just look really closely, there's no trash anywhere. And that's because they don't allow bottled drinks, plastic drinks. They don't allow food, packaged food onto the boat going here. And it really shows in the place. In Sugbu Lagoon, you don't see any trash. Everything is so clean and you feel that everything's so well preserved. And I love that about this place. And I think that, I don't know. For me, it's hard to find a place like this. And I think it's really special. And I think that you'll find that when you bring your family here, when you bring your friends here, you're gonna have a great time. You can rent a kayak like we did here. You can rent a paddle board and also like a platform, like a log platform and just have a good time enjoy the day enjoy the sun enjoy the water and you know other than people screaming from jumping off of the diving board <laughs> it was really calm and really peaceful and that's really what i took away from this experience is that it's really really beautiful you know and I think that if you go to the Philippines, you should definitely consider going to Shergao. And I want to see these people that are in Shergao. They're so nice. This girl came up to me and gave me a starfish, which we played with. And I was so, so happy. I was just a little kid here. <laughs> Loving it. And, you know, here, just reflecting on the beauty of this place everything that we did the past few days and just reliving it with you guys here reacting to this video i'm so thankful that you're watching and you're experiencing this again with me <laughs> and now let's get to the second question what are the three places that i missed in shergao that i would want to go back to and visit and i think that you should go back and check out when you go to shergao i think that you should go to Sohotan Cove National Park. And in this place, this is where the stingless jellyfish are. So you can swim with these orange stingless jellyfish. It's absolutely crazy. I think that I really want to go there <laughs> next time that I go. And that's what's pulling me to go there next time is Sohotan. And then the second place that I would want to go is Maasin River with the coconut tree swing. There's a bent coconut tree with a with a swing there. And I really think that it would be a fun place to take your friends and family. I really wanted to fly my drone through Maasin River while someone was like swinging on the coconut tree. I thought that would be really fun, really cool. But they were filming a Korean music video at the time that we were visiting. So we weren't able to go to Maasin River. It's not because we didn't try. And the third place that I would visit would be Secret Beach just outside of General Luna. There's a secret beach there that doesn't have any pavement showing you where to go to get to the beach. And I think that's a really cool place. It's like a hidden, you know, a hidden gem <laughs> in Shergao. Next time I go there, I want to visit that place. So to recap, the six places that I think you should visit in Shergao are Cloud9, you should definitely go island hopping. That's like a three-in-one. You should definitely go to Sugba Lagoon. You should go to Sohotan Cove National Park. You should go to the Secret Beach. And then you should go to Maasin River. So, have you guys been to Shergao? Will you go in the future after watching my video? Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.